Welcome back guys. In today's video, we'll be showcasing uh, True Waking Level 4 and attempting to get True Waking Level 5. Uh, in my previous video, we obtained True Waking Level 2 and 3 and we showcased um, the gauntlet. So make sure you guys check that video or make sure you guys check that video out if you haven't done so already. Um, before we start this video, make sure you guys like and subscribe and join the Discord down in the description below. Also, um, consider supporting this channel by becoming a member of this channel. Currently, it costs five dollars a month, but you guys will be able to access my videos um, twelve hours in advance. So usually, I record these videos around four or five p.m. and then I upload it around seven eight p.m. However, now my videos will be scheduled. Uh, to upload around 12 p.m. Eastern time the next day members will be able to view this video um, Possibly 12 to 16 hours earlier So make sure you guys consider becoming members if you guys can't afford it, but without further ado, let's get in today's video <clears throat> So I did some all flying grinding and we obtained true awaken level 4 So with true awaken level 4 we unlock the creation and the creation over here um, it's like a, I guess, a, like a little star um, board, I guess. We can't really do too much with it yet, but um, the first upgrade or the first unlock is more creation energy. The next is more tap, more jungle XP, cavern XP, and intersection XP. So we just gotta keep monitoring um, the stats. So let's pin this stat real quick. Uh, I can't find it. Is it a level? I guess I can't pin this yet, uh, but we just gotta keep tabs on this because this is essential to our creation tab. And then also while doing some um, grinding, I was able to obtain over 10,000 tap. And currently I'm grinding the cavern chamber, although it's not the best in terms of efficiency. Uh, I was able to obtain a ton of cavern artifacts, which increased my experience by 100% per level. So we're gonna go back to the dun uh, the jungle chamber just so we can get more jungle artifacts and um, just grind some of that relic. So let's get our first sapphire rune generation relic and spend the rest on relic tap because relic tap is probably the most important one right now. Okay, and then we have twenty two thousand tap and we can increase this by doing a lot more. So we left off. Um, or currently we're level 750 in the mushroom uh, cavern and all this was literally going offline I went offline and I gained so much progress so let's get level 750 and we'll do a bunch of absorbs in a bit but let's go to the field and spend what we have so far and we do have a lot we might be able to we might be able to attain intersection level 30 I'm not too sure though because that might be a little bit too hard but while doing some grinding, um, I was able to obtain intersection auto cutting. So that cuts one piece of intersection grass every second, which for sure aided in the grind offline grinding. And this was the actual offline grinding because I was actually offline. So let's go to the tree and do a bunch of absorbs. I might be able to do um, maybe five absorbs. So after that, we're now tap 56k, 57k. Go to the field and we can get a bunch more. Not too much though, not too much. But this should aid in um, the tap. So if we go to the halls, one major thing we have to look at is how uh, fast we're clearing this stuff. So we did gain a bunch of tap and respawn timers seem to be hurting us a little bit. However, we're obtaining um, 2,800 per hour. This is compared to 3.52 per second in the relic chamber. So I think I'm gonna just idle on the relic chamber a little bit just to get my relic tap a little bit higher. And luckily we do have a bunch of boosts to, to, to use. So let's use two boosts here. And that gives us one more awakening tap, which gives us two more, 2K more tap. We go to the mushrooms and currently we're level 270, which is another absorb. But let's see if we can go higher. Let's go to the field and purchase some things. We might build a brute force level 30, 
but I'm not sure if we want to for the sake of this video. Because I know for this video we can easily um, do a true awakening and regain all our progress in two seconds. Alright, yeah I'm considering doing um, another true awakening for this video. But I kind of want to get 780, so we'll use another boost. So that gives us 790. That's way more than enough. Can barely get anything else here. Let's go to the halls. Um, can't get much else either. So we're going to go... We're just leave it here just to grind. Some tap, or some relics. 5.6 relics per second on that, so that's amazing. And then over here... Um, I might just want to wait a little bit more as well just to get more efficient progress on that. Also, it won't really increase much, so I might just continue and just do a true awakening. Because um, this could be the difference of potentially maybe one more relic per second. So let's see what else we can do before we try to do a reset. We can do this, of course. So this should be, yeah, it should be, um, two absorbs. There's this tree, do one absorb, and then do another absorb. So that gives us 77,000. Although, with creation, I don't think it'll be enough to get us to... Maybe we can get, no, I don't think so. We'll dedicate a couple more boosts just to try to, um, try to get a little bit more. So we do have a lot of boosts to spare. We might put a brute force uh, level 30 as well. So we could try that. Cavern. Cavern XP seems to be a little capped, unfortunately. So we're stuck on that. 82,000. We'll use another boost. Go to the halls. Yeah, we'll, we're stuck at 85,000, I believe. Can't get another one on that. So we're getting 8.54 per second. I gotta remember to um, increase the rooms. Because we're getting... Um, we're trolling ourselves on that. Mushroom. 795. Yeah, we seem to be a little stuck here. So let's just um, progress for now. Yeah, we seem to be capped. Let's consider what we want to purchase. Uh, while we wait for our creation to reach 900. So we will be obtaining around 320,000 light runes. So with that, of course, we want to upgrade our uh, tap. And then we go to the field, and this is where the bulk of our progress progression will be going. Or the bulk of our uh, runes will be going. So bulb generation will be important. Cavern auto cutting. So it looks like we can probably purchase everything here. Um, without any worries and spend the rest on upgrades Let's get to the halls we're almost there and this will just be um, spent idling yeah, we can get rune fragment generation which would be pretty important then we don't have to spam resets like we usually do or wait to cavern <clears throat> all right with that we can get our last creation tap man i wish we could what do we need for the next one? 810? I don't know if we could brute force this. That's the issue. We can try. It might be worth it. 810? Oh, we did it. No way. So, with that, we brute forced it. So, luckily, we don't have to do, um, we don't have to wait no more. So, with that, we can absorb. I think this should give us 96. We're just short a little bit, which kind of sucks. Uh,. Might just have to keep brute forcing it. Alright, we'll, we'll do another brute force. 99. Oh, come on, guys. We're, we're so close. We're so close. What can I do here? What can I do? Mushroom 810. Well, it looks like we're going to have to use another boost. That's the only logical thing to do. Mushroom, 811 halls. Thing is, it's only 10% efficient. That's the issue. 
but let's use another boost. Mushroom level 814. What do we need? 830. Yeah, this is the only way. It seems a little bit wasteful, but I mean, at least we get more progression. 825, we're actually so close. So we'll just use one more boost. Let's potentially try to get IL30 just to showcase IL30. Another boost. I'm really using up, using up all my boosts just for this. Mushrooms, 827. All is not enough, so we have to use one more boost. I used 13 boosts in one video, that's insane. But at least we're now tap uh, 100k, which gives us Tau 5. Yeah, I don't think we can get intersection level uh, 30, so that kind of sucks. So we'll do one more absorb. And that gives us 112k tap. And then... Uh, let's grind cavern chamber just for now so we can get more relics But <clears throat> what we unlock is Tau 5 So with this power level updates automatically upper cavern will remain unlocked after true awakening Multiplies max creation energy by 10 per true awakening level above 4 It keeps the fourth upgrade of each generator in the temp chart. So let's do another true awakening so we're Tau 5, or yeah, we're Tau 5. When we get Tau 6, we'll unlock a new thing, the complex creation. Um, so we still have 112 cavern level up there, but we get uh, another boost right here. So we'll grind for that as well. Unfortunately, we weren't able to be as super as efficient as we wanted, but we do get some extra perks. So with this, we'll purchase a starter ruby gen. Starter Bulb Gen, Cavern Auto Cut, and Starter Ruby Rune Generation. And with that, we have a ton more to purchase. If you go to the halls, we're left with 900,000 left. That's an insane amount. So let's, with this, let's spend um, that much and spend the rest on increasing everything to level 50. It's going to be a major a progression point for us. As for rune fragments, we don't really need it, but we'll spend it anyways. And then intersection XP, let's put a big focus on that. Another focus on intersection value. With that, we got 3,000 light runes to spare. And with that, we'll be getting a ton of relics. Let's go to the jungle chamber just to max out our jungle relics. All right, let's get to the field and see what we can get here. So, um, like we said earlier, we're obtaining, uh, or our power level updates automatically. So we don't have to do, we no longer have to do a manual absorb. And then uh, max creation value is also important. I forgot to pin it too, so that kind of sucks. Uh, yeah, I forgot to pin that. So we'll have to manually check back on this. But other than that, there's nothing else to do except just go AFK once again. We need level 470. Um, is there anything we can manually get? I guess we'll get some rune fragments while we're here. We unlock the cavern automatically, and of course that cavern stuff is all auto-cutting right away. So let's manually purchase these things. Let's uh, do another manual rune fragment. And then these will automatically purchase, be purchased due to our rune generations. And then let's do one more. And then let's just max all of this stuff out. We're going to need 100 trillion for that. And then after that, that'll be the end of our temple. Obviously, stability is being auto maxed as well. So we don't have to worry about that. Let's go to the mushroom field and see what we can get here. So uh, level 400, that means... We can automatically go to the field and literally start buying stuff in the field. The only thing we're missing is the um, field is the intersection auto buyer. However, I don't think that's a thing. So we get absorbs automatically. 
So automatically absorbing, as you can see here, our tap is automatically increasing and our links are automatically increasing as well. So we're at that stage where we're hyper accumulating everything. The hyper accumulation stage. This would have been the best time to use my boosts, but unfortunately we do not have the boosts. And of course we no longer need to do any resets, so all we have to do is just focus on intersection. So if we use a boost, uh, let's, let's go to the halls real quick and just check what we have. Can't afford anything yet. So we're gonna buy creation tap and then we're gonna use a boost. Let's just showcase what we have. Let's get intersection XP up. 82,000 already. And that's with all our automatic boosts as well. Um, we got a bit, couple, a couple. Let's see, how long does it take for us to kill this? I want to see what the artifact of power relic would do. I'm assuming it increases intersection XP. I'm not too sure. But this would be, I'm curious as to what we can get. Level 22 already, so we made major progress on that. Uh, so one major thing we could do is, um, while we wait for this, we can do our planet run dailies. So, let's do that in the meantime. So first we gotta go to the hub, and go to planet level, planet run 1. GCI, aka GCI 1. Haven't played this in two days. So let us go to the hub real quick. Go to planet run. Oh, my bad. <sighs> misclick, misclick. My fault. Go to the hub. See if we can get anything. So we have a bunch of flowers. We have 112,000 flowers, but we'll use these flowers um, once I actually start to do loops. Let's go to Planet Run and see what we can get here. So we can get a four hour time warp, although it may not be the best. So I'll do a video on the lulls uh, soon, but in the meantime, let's let's clear some uh, let's clear some Planet Runs. So you might be able to see my speedrun 4 gameplay. It's important to grab all these tokens. Um, pro tip though, I recommend uh, turning on speedrun 4 physics. So honestly, I think speedrun 4 physics are a lot smoother and they feel a lot more fun as well so I'm not sure if we can get 4,000 tokens as with that we can get a massive uh, boost so we get 50 planet tokens per uh, daily completed so make sure you guys are completing your dailies while you guys are going AFK that's a massive uh, boost And of course, the faster you do it, the more tokens you get. And I just... Oh, wait, I got it. I'm not sure if that token was worth it, though, because it made us lose a couple seconds of our time. Alright. And with this, we'll go back to the main realm. Return. Oops. Never hit quit. So that way we can get a four hour time warp. So let's get ourselves a four hour time warp. And then we can get more rare flowers as well. So if I need more boosts, I'll go back and get more boosts. But for now, we do not need um, any more. Let's go to the hub. Go here. So while we're gone, we uh, got 900. Cuts. Most importantly, 150 intersection cuts. So we're tap 114. So we made a bunch of progress while we, while we went AFK, which is the most important thing. However, we're stuck at um, level 27 intersection. Let's see what we can get before I'd use my boosts. Uh, only thing here is cavern XP and more tap. So now we'll be using our four hour boost uh, for our time warp. So with this, we get increased tap by 1% per level. It's super important right there. However, cavern 
Uh, XP is also important, so we can't forget to use that. Uh, with that, we can use jungle, so we'll just upgrade our tap. So we're at 166,000 tap. In the field, we're also level 30, which is another major milestone as we unlock whatever this is. So let's climb this intersection ramp and figure out what's unlocked. Remnants, collapse. Resets everything True Awakening does for remnants based on intersection level. You will earn 64 remnants. Time warps are only 50% effective on time multi. First collapse will unlock a new relic upgrade. So with this uh, collapse, we can get tap remnants, increase true waking levels by 25% per level. Link automation, auto auto automatically buys link automation. Max creation energy remnants, that's important too. Relic reward, 25%, more relics. Uh, grass, or intersection grass automation, and uh, intersection grass EL. So now we have to, um, Debate it's we have to debate whether it's more worth it to perform uh, true awakening Or a Collapse so this time I Think a uh, collapse I'm gonna go for a collapse just to show off new features However, for you guys you guys to need to you guys need to decide whether it's worth it or not to do a collapse So while we're here, we're gonna make sure to, can we not pin creation or is that a, oh that's a currency I'm trolling guys my bad my bad so let's pin that so we know how we know how much creation energy we have and we're gonna do a collapse for 64 remnants and we're sealed in and we got a new achievement too we got the two achievement so with this let's buy link automation so we can forget about that and let's buy more tap and does this reset our light runes? We'll figure out in a couple seconds um, once we unlock it again. But like I said, we get everything back in like two seconds anyway. So in the end, it doesn't really matter. So we'll unlock a cavern right there. Assuming we don't get any more light runes. All right, let's unlock everything in literally two seconds once again. If only we had light rune generation. That'd be probably seriously broken. All right, we'll come back. Actually, we don't need to come back. We need to just do it right here. Also, we forgot about um, we forgot we forgot to buy these things last time, so we gotta remember to buy them, or at least I did. You guys probably were yelling at the screen telling me to buy them. So let's purchase all of these. Get IL-12, and now we have the hulls again. So does that reset uh, our light runes timer? So it does. So you guys have to decide whether to do a light rune reset or uh, a relic reset. So make sure you guys are doing the calculations on that, because the worst thing you want to do is be efficient. Inefficient, my bad. You never want to be inefficient. All right, how many? We have about one, so let's get do our mushroom auto cutters are not auto cutting the correct things, I guess. So now we have enough rune fragments, purchase everything, and now our cavern board is maxed out. So now we get to focus on the field. So like I said, right now, kinda is a big idle game, because we do have to figure out whether or not we want to do uh, light runes or remnants. So it's it's a very very fine balance. So right now we're getting around 21 uh, per hour, which is around 21 percent per hour. So in this situation, I'm thinking about uh, grinding some planet runs while we wait. But let me think about what we can do here, because we don't want to leave yet. We gotta make sure our um, everything is efficient as possible before we dip and grind something else. Like, uh, if you're grinding loops at the same time, this would be perfect opportunity to play a uh, regular GCI. So, because I'm recording, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do everything one by one. 
but if since you guys are uh, regular players you can literally just play loops so this is probably the best update GCI has ever had because they removed all the idle time needed they turned uh, grass cutting idle into grass cutting incremental like it should be and they added games you can play um, while you wait for uh, crucial points like you can literally just play loops or you can play planet run which is very great insight by uh, Lethal Dolphin. So let's go to the hub real quick and grind some planet runs so we can get those plant tokens. Also, I'm gonna show you case to you guys a little sneak peek. So if you go to planet run, um, as you can see, I unlock some low levels. I'll show you guys the I'll show you guys the low levels um, in a separate video. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. But, oops, I'm trolling. But if you guys are good at obbies, this is the, these are the perfect levels for you guys. Because they're non-speeded, regular player obbies. Although the first person does feel a little bit weird. Um, so, try not to do these obbies in first person. However, sometimes you just can't help it. So we got these invisible studs as well for speedrunning. I didn't see the first time. I didn't see it the first time I did it, so. We get a little token and we get 50 uh, regular tokens as well. I'm gonna do one more of these just to showcase to you guys some levels. Um, that's the wrong way to go about it, but. Um, this is why Lethal Dolphin has play been playing a lot of Jato. Although the hardest towers, I guess, um, Maybe REM difficulty. Or not the tower, but the hardest obby in here is around REM difficulty. So if you can't do REMs, make sure you guys learn how to do REMs. Alright, let me beat this real quick. And after that, can't showcase to you guys some more REM levels. Or more uh, low levels. So we'll do regular speed run levels. Time to beat, 33 seconds. This one we can just ignore the tokens because um, in the end the tokens don't really save don't really give us a lot and we lose a lot of time getting those tokens uh, but first we have to beat the obby if we don't beat the obby, obby we lose a lot of time as well so um, speed run four movement is a lot sharper so you can uh, utilize that to shave off some momentum but right now i'm just uh obviously just trolling so um, don't copy me if you guys want to be good at this game all right time to beat 33 seconds we're almost beating it i'm not sure what the world record is um but you guys can be you guys can grind for uh world records as well if you join the discord server Share some time. So we shaved off a second right there. Probably not worth it. Best 36 seconds. Let's see what we can get here. I'm feeling a little fast right now. Feeling a little fast. Ah, oh, I couldn't get my jump there. I don't like this level anyways. So we need to do... Three more levels. So this is a 38 second level, so this is a good one to do. You guys always want to do the fast levels to get tokens. Never do the long ones. Alright. Not too bad, not too bad. There's probably a good skip there, but I couldn't find it. Or I didn't see it in time. So we got around default time. Not too fast. We shaved off a second. Best 49 seconds. Let's grind this. Oh, this one's kind of fun though. Oh, never mind. I hate this game. 
Honestly, the lols might be easier. Um, we're gonna save our stuff. We don't need a time warp anyways. Let's go back to uh, the hub here and see what we can do before we try to end this video. All right. So we go to the intersection. We're already level 27, which is good progress. And the best part is we don't have to worry about the links anymore. We can just choose to simply ignore the links. Mushroom 805. We're at 221,000 tap, which is currently a personal best. Um, let's increase our tap by a little bit more. 233 tap. Uh, well, yeah, one big component is definitely the time factor. So if you guys were wise, you guys be playing loops right now. All right, well, it seems like there's nothing else I can do in this video. So with that, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. And like I said, if you guys want to be... Um, if you guys want to see this video early, make sure you guys become members by clicking the join button down below. And with that, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.